Hey Ratbags, quick guide today on how to get both the endings in Grounded. The good ending and the maybe not so good ending. A little few tips and showing them off again. Let's go. So this is how you get both of them. Obviously the game will direct you to go and get the four super chips. Once you've got them from the haze, the pond, the hedge and the black anthill, you then have to go and find Wendell. I'll have individual guides for all of these stages of course, but the mant is pretty tough, it will summon fire ants also, but it is related to an ant, so you can use mutations like the ant annihilator to do extra damage against it. Once that's done, of course you will talk to Wendell and he'll guide you to picking up the grilled science. You then head over to the Java Matic and climb up, making sure you've got five each of the following five koi scales. You're going to also need gum, you will also need berry leather, and you're going to need the toenails. Once you try pressing power, Wendell will talk to you again and basically tell you that you need to mix the ingredients together and put the embiggening cell obviously inside the Java Matic. You get the empty embiggening cell usually after the first two times that you're giving one of the super chips. Then climb up to Java-matic and go ahead and mix the ingredients. But of course there is a problem, there isn't enough power because the three nodes are being attacked by enemies. So you're going to go down and repair them all and then you're going to actually have to do a mini little base event. You have to pretty much do this anyway, so I wouldn't bother putting any bases up just yet. And it will try and basically show you what's going to go on. So you're meant to repair them afterwards, talk to Tully again and then go and get ready properly with your defences. So at this point, there's a couple things that you can do to stop or make this easier. If you from now go ahead and take care of Schmecter, the watcher, the big overall enemy, bad guy, whatever, he's going to be instrumental in giving you the best ending. It'll also make this fight a lot easier. Supposedly, if you defeat Schmecter first, it will reduce the amount of the AWP creatures that will come along. That's my understanding anyway. Otherwise, you're perfectly able to go ahead and defend this point by putting up lots of base pieces, obviously, and making sure that they can't get through. But it is very challenging, and you will need the toughest kind of defences and the best gear to do it. But yeah, the first time you do it, you're meant to fail, like I said, just so you can go and talk to Wendell, and he gives you the idea that maybe you should go and make things a bit easier for yourselves. But with the power of custom mode, I went ahead and put a whole ton of the brand new cement wall pieces as defences, and I just about did the job. There's three lanes that the enemies will come from, but they also actually spawn or just appear pretty close as well. So you don't actually want your defenses towards the bottom of the lanes that you see. Instead, you want them as close as you can to the top. And you might even want to just protect the points directly to stop any other creatures from sneaking on by. But if you do put huge walls all around, you've got a much better chance of stopping them. You'll get attacked by the AWP red ants, also AWP bombardier beetles, fireflies, mosquitoes, Ladybirds, Blackhawks, Beetles as well. So this guy kept respawning directly in front of my walls. That's why I'm saying don't put the walls too far down. You might want to keep them outside. But either way, they do get attracted to the walls just like they do in any of the waft emitter events. They pretty much try and go for your base pieces with only a few of the creatures actually going direct towards the actual stuff here. The large creatures will kind of hit about a quarter of the way through or halfway through and that's when they'll start attacking as well as the fireflies which weirdly didn't go directly for again the kind of transmitters or whatever they are the battery chargers instead they were still going for some of the basic pieces for some additional help you'll actually find a whole ton of mushroom pieces and smoothies as well as recipe foods and more to help build your defenses so make sure you utilize this it's got quite a few mushroom bricks and stuff although you still probably will need to do more Eventually, when you've managed to withstand the onslaught of bugs and you've kept all three of the connectors going, then obviously it will cut and you have mixed the cocktail together. And that's it, return to the spacer and you can go ahead and finish the game with the final cutscene. But of course, this will result in you getting the negative one unless you've gone and defeated Smecter first.
And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers called it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. Pete, Max, Willow, and Hoops tried to tell everyone what had happened, but without evidence, no one believed them. No, instead, people heralded Ominent's amazing new invention, a shrinking machine, and everyone learned the name of the one behind it all. Director Dalton Schmechter. It didn't end there. The world found out about me, about the raisining, and I had to disappear and hide away, which meant all I could do was watch as Schmechter took credit for everything that I had achieved. The kids tried to get back to their normal lives as best they could. Burgle has been keeping an eye on them in my stead, joining their science and robotics club. They made him the mascot, but they didn't tell him that part. I can't help thinking that there was more I could have done with my time in the yard. That said, I have my wife, my family, and I can continue my research, such that it is trying to make the most of what little time that I have remaining. Excellent. So it's pretty obvious, but yeah, you're going to have to go over to the Mordok Castle in the upper pond, and this is where you're going to find Smecta in the bottom of the playset. Once inside, Wendell will pretty much patch in Burgle, and Burgle will help you hack your way in. So there's a chance that if you go here earlier, you might not be able to get in until you've gone and actually done some of the other stuff, like obviously freed Wendell or got him on your side. There's a small laboratory area with maybe only one or two enemies like Fire Ants, but that's pretty much it. And then it's time to face off against the Watcher, aka Schmecta, head of Omnum Technologies and Wendell's main ally, rival and former co-worker. He wants to use all the different types of technologies to basically maximise profits and be basically evil. He's the one that made sure the kids were used because kids obviously couldn't actually dehydrate like Wendell did and that's one of the reasons. They also developed a cure though, which is another reason why you need to defeat him because that's what really unlocks the positive ending is getting a cure for Wendell. Again, I've got a decent guide showing us how to do this without using cheats or custom creative mode etc. But absolutely, this is one of the toughest boss fights you will ever do in Grounded, or nor any other game in my opinion. You really do need Top Gear stuff, or just the reflexes of an absolute ninja facing off against all Weaver Juniors, so many of them that will poison you, as well as obviously him doing big damage here with static charge. Once he's dead, you'll get access to a special disc that gives you the cure, but also hints at maybe future updates or DLC, or possibly even a sequel. And that's it, return to Wendell, and you get the good ending this time. And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers called it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got involved. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings, about the dead teenagers, about Armin. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of Director Dalton Schmechter. 
just like he always wanted. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete, Willow, Max, and Hoops tried to go back to being normal teenagers. Burgle has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot, if you didn't tell him. I'm expecting big things from all of them. Life's getting back to normal around here. It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit either. Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together. What I really love about this is the replayability. You do get that game report card. Obviously, you saw that I did run out of time in the end to show it all off doing my legit character. So I went and got just the last, last few bits with this cheaty one. And it gives you a rundown of how many grass blades you've chopped down, how many bosses you've killed, or certainly you get bonuses for killing bosses, like this one's telling me to go and kill the Broodmother. So if you want the perfect score, you're probably going to have to kill every boss in Grounded as well as make sure you get a lot of high percentages of these. I will look into this further and tell you guys or show you guys exactly what it is to get the best score possible. And that's it. Hope you've enjoyed the endings of Grounded and this little short tips guide on how to get them. Until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.